Hello Cancer, this is Renee and welcome back. Cancer, this is going to be the next 48 hours. What's going on, what you can expect, what's coming towards you in the next 48 hours. Okay, so we have the Three of Swords, the Temperance card, the Strength card, and the Hierophant. Okay, Cancer. At the bottom, you have the Page of Pentacles. So here's the thing, um, Cancer. I feel like you're going through some kind of heartbreak, some kind of disappointment. Things just are not turning out the way that you thought that they would. Okay? But this Three of Swords, the swords have fallen away from the heart. So it's no longer in pain. It's currently healing. So I feel like you're going through a time of healing, a time of balance, a time of, you know, really reviewing what is truly, you know, the source of what maybe you're in doubt of or what made you heartbroken in the first place. Okay, um, I really feel like you have a lot of strength, Cancer, and I feel like you, you just are not seeing just how much strength you truly have. And I feel like there is some kind of spiritual guidance pushing you forward, pushing you and guiding you into this new, mm, this new situation that you're coming into okay because after a heartbreak after some kind of situation that leaves you so much in doubt there is a new situation that's beginning after that situation has ended okay so let's get some more cards before we clarify okay tell me more about the situation spirit tell me more about the situation please what is going on with Cancer? Sun, Moon, and Rising. Okay. Move these into your view. Okay. And give me a message for Cancer, please. What is going on with Cancer? Sun, Moon, and Rising the next 48 hours. Okay. We have the Six of Pentacles. The Queen of Pentacles. The hangman and the star. So we also have the eight of pentacles. So I feel like you're actively working on some sort of situation. I feel like, you know, with this heartache and, you know, recovery time, I feel like, you know, someone is sharing some kind of information with you. I feel like there's help on the way. Okay. Um, I feel like this is a more balanced energy. This is going to bring more stability into your life. After all of the sacrifices you've made, you have healing. So this is a significant time for you to be healed. There is stability that is around you. There is an offer, a very blessed offer of someone wanting to give you something there's gifts okay there also may be some advice but i feel like you know you you're kind of you feel like you have sacrificed so very much for this situation but you do have healing you're being healed Okay, so this is really beautiful energy. She is not just pouring this healing over her. She is fully immersed in these healing waters. Okay, so I, I feel like you're going to have this great healing flow through you that's going to make you feel more rejuvenated. Um, more recovered 
okay you're not just working to go through this recovery i feel like you're working towards a purpose you know this may be something that has to do with work or something that has to do with love but something left you very heartbroken something really took something away from you and now you're working on rebuilding okay so let's take a look a little deeper tell me more about the situation for cancer tell me more about this three of swords okay we have the six of swords so there's something that you're moving past something that you're not letting defeat you you're moving into a, a greater purpose that's what i'm sensing with this temperance card i feel like you're you are actively building up your confidence you're building up your ability to be more independent to be in control of your situation okay and now with the strength card we have the chariot so i feel like this strength is moving you down a different path it's moving you into a different direction okay look the the six of swords is moving towards this direction but the chariot is moving towards that direction okay so you're moving in a different direction but you're moving away from the past you're moving away from whatever this is that you know left you feeling defeated okay and i feel like along your way you're going to get some kind of communication um this card the eight of wands what i'm really feeling is it is actively pushing you towards some kind of new purpose you're you're taking action towards some kind of new purpose in your life you know it's going towards this hierophant energy it may be very spiritual okay um but i feel like you know there is something that you're letting go of you're not letting this hold you back. You're moving on. You're not thinking about what it is that you lost any longer. You're, you're thinking about what it is you can gain. Okay? So, uh, whatever this energy is, I feel like it's strong. It's, it's working. Okay? Uh, for this Six of Pentacles, give me a message. For cancer okay for the six of Pentacles we have the two of cups so there's someone coming in to help lift you up to help keep you balanced to help keep you grounded to share some kind of knowledge some kind of wisdom with you to maybe even give you advice but this two of cups energy this love this friend this partner wants to share something with you they want to provide you with some sort of gift. Okay. With this Queen of Pentacles, we have the judgment. So you also have, you know, you have stability. You have a solid foundation. Something is turning out better than you thought it would. But you also have a renewed faith this is a renewed situation this is going away from your comfort zone and going to something new something that is a blessing okay um for the hangman wow we have the magician so cancer this hangman energy He's sacrificing something to get enlightenment. He's taking time out. He's trying to gain his wisdom on a situation. Now, the magician, however, already knows all of the information. Already has 
all of the resources that he needs to create what it is that he's trying to create into his reality. Okay, so Cancer, I feel like you're no longer thinking. You no longer feel like there's something that needs to be sacrificed because you know that you have everything that you need to create what it is that you want to create. Okay, this could be love. This could be a new job. This could be a promotion. Okay, but I feel like you have all the resources. Okay, with the star card, we have the nine of swords. So I feel like, you know, you have healing. You are immersed in this healing water. But I feel like you still have some doubts. You still have some concerns. There's still some kind of lack of confidence in your abilities. And that is what needs to be left behind. That's what needs to be let go of is these doubts. Because these doubts are going to keep you in this same place. You know, if you want to move forward with this magician and this judgment card, this new beginning, this new faith, there's something that you need to leave behind. And that's this doubt in your abilities. Maybe you're trying something new and you feel like maybe you're not able to pull it off, but you can cap. You may have a Capricorn in your life. <laughs> you can cancer. You can do whatever it is you put your mind to. You have all of the resources. You know, um, you have all of the ability that you need to bring this forward to make this new okay you just have to believe you just have to believe that you have the ability and you need to make the choice that you are enough for any situation that you come to okay you are enough you have the ability to carry Whatever burdens you have, whatever responsibilities you have, let's face it, we all have responsibilities. We all have these, these things that we're carrying. It actually determines how you carry it. How are you going to carry these burdens or priorities, Cancer? Are you going to do it with a heavy heart? Or are you going to make the choice to do it with a grateful heart and be grateful for the responsibilities and the priorities that you're making okay i feel like that's very important because look at this we have the hangman again there may be some things that you sacrifice but i feel like it's bringing you into this enlightenment he's once in darkness but he's contemplating he's thinking he's taking time out He's sacrificing something. He's sacrificing his time, his awareness. But he's coming into light. He's not in darkness anymore because he sees what's ahead of him. He's more aware of what needs to be done. Okay? Because he uses his intuition. He follows the lead of the universe to bring him into happiness. Okay, and I feel like this is this is a message that you really need to hear at the moment, uh, Cancer, because whatever is hidden will become to light. Whatever questions you have, you will find the answers. Okay, you have people who love and care for you. You have people that you may be responsible for, but I feel like this is bringing you some kind of awareness that, you know, you can, you can have the ability to be anything you desire, you know, with love and support, you have the ability, okay, so, Cancer, I'm sorry, I, I really feel like you need to hear that message, there's something that you need to truly understand, okay? 
And I feel like that's exactly what you needed to hear at that moment. Okay, let's get a message for Cancer. What message do we have for Cancer? What's going on with Cancer, please? Sun, Moon, and Rising. Okay, we have self-esteem. Exactly what I was saying. You know, you need a boost of self-esteem, Cancer. But I feel like you just need someone to tell you that you have this ability. Because you do. You possess all the gifts of the soul that benefit you and the people around you. You have everything that you need in order to create this, this place, this ability, you know. You just have to believe that you have this ability, Cancer. Okay, more messages for Cancer, please. Another message for Cancer. Okay, work through your fears. New Moon and Scorpio. And there are some fears that you're working through. But you have this. You have the ability. Look at this. You have the Judgment card. The Magician. The um, Two of Cups. The uh, Chariot. You have the ability. You just have to work through those fears and keep moving. Because you're so close to some kind of conclusion. You're so close to ending whatever cycle that you're, you're looking for. To achieving a goal. Conclusions are within reach. Okay? So all you need to do is to know that that conclusion that you're looking for. You are going to have success. You are going to have Whatever it is that you're working on, you have this goal. You, you're going to have this success, this achievement. Okay? Okay, a message from the universe. The moment I embrace my peace within and surrender the outcome is the moment that the universe can truly get to work. Okay, the universe wants to let you know it has your back. Okay, I am a loving energy of the universe. And you are. You very well are. And the universe is letting you know how much it loves you back. And it tells you that with every time that you are blessed with a situation. Every time you're blessed with someone's support, someone's gift, someone's good advice, abundance, promotion. You know, the universe is letting you know you're on the right track. Whoa. Okay. We've got a couple different cards here. Um, we have full moon in Libra. Find a balance. Find a balance in your situation. Full moon in Taurus, Cancer, you may need to detoxify. Take away those things that are making your body run in overdrive. You know, whether that's drinking, whether that's smoking, whether that's eating too much or not eating enough. Or not eating enough good foods, healthy foods from the earth. Okay, so you need to detoxify, um, nourish your body with good things. First quarter moon in Pisces, honor your feelings. It's okay to honor your feelings. You know, if you have a bad day or if something is going wrong, you know, it's okay to honor the way that you feel at that moment. But don't stay there. Don't linger too long. Snap out of it and get into more of a positive space okay we also have first quarter moon in cancer push through any insecurities okay i knew you were going to show up in your reading you are cancer you know okay so let's take a look 
at Cancer. We do see the Two of Cups here, so I feel like if you are open to love, I feel like love is here and available for you. But we're going to go ahead and get a message anyway to let you know where we're at with love for the next 48 hours, okay? Okay, we have the Coffee Cup. So I feel like someone is going to give you some kind of surprising offer some kind of invitation, some kind of get together. Um, someone wants to take you out, Cancer. I feel like this is an invitation to socialize, go on a date, you know, be your charming self, you know, whether you're male or female. Okay, we have the boats. Receiving what you need progression, arriving, moving on, closure issues, okay? So I truly feel like you are able to receive exactly what you need at this moment. I feel like, Cancer, you are growing. You are moving ahead, you know? There's some very interesting things that are about to enter into your life that are about to be created okay I feel like you just need to be prepared for what is being manifested keep a positive mindset set your sights high and make sure to let the universe know exactly what it is that you are looking for exactly what this is that you're manifesting because I feel like it's very important that you know you be straight you explain describe exactly what it is that you want okay so cancer this is the reading I have for you so if this reading resonates Please like and subscribe, hit that bell so that you don't miss any uploads, and take a look at your sun, moon, and rising for more clarity. I have all of the March readings up, so if you want to take a look at your sun, moon, rising, or even your Venus, uh, take a look at that playlist and feel free to, to watch those, okay? And until your next reading, Cancer. Many, many blessings to you. Love and